the study that I mentioned, it was actually done by the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. They tested 80 different types of bottled water. They found that all of them contained a certain amount of chlorine, fluoride, and sodium. So people who say they don't like tap water because it's fluorinated, well, most of your bottled water is fluorinated too. 25 of those 80 contained arsenic, 53 of those 80 contained chloroform, and 15 contained lead. And in the end, uh, in the disposal of bottles, we see uh, a release of dioxins, which get into the atmosphere, it rains, it falls upon the grass, cows eat the grass, and we're discovering uh, dioxins in cow's milk that kids uh, drink every day. We put up a thing about cost because people are like $22 for a water bottle. Oh my gosh. But if you add up $1.50 every day that you're spending, I mean, if you're going to look, we want people to just get the plastic bottles out of their lives. And some people will do it altruistically. Other people, it's their wallet. I don't think people will reduce their consumption on gasoline if it wasn't so expensive. If gas was cheap, they'd buy big cars and drive them too fast and too far. It costs a 10,000 times more to buy a gallon of water that's been bottled than to pull it out of the tap. And let's face it, it's expensive. Brands like Fiji can cost eight bucks a bottle or more at high-end hotels. Ironic that droughts have led to water shortages on the island that exports it. In total, Americans snapped up $11 billion worth of bottled water last year. All in a country that has some of the cleanest public water in the world. Doctors recommend drinking two liters of water each day, the equivalent of four bottles. If that recommended amount were to come exclusively from bottles, one person would consume 28 bottles of water each week, about 120 bottles each month. That's 1,456 bottles every year. With bottled water prices ranging between $1 to $2, a person drinking the recommended amount of 2 liters of water from a bottle will spend between $1,500 to $2,000 annually as opposed to getting that two liters every day from tap water, which amounts to 53 cents a year. The fact that it costs more than gasoline is bizarre. Uh, Paul Simon said it right, the senator, not the songwriter. Uh, your children will not fight over gasoline. Your children will fight over water. Cook County was the first kind of local agency to do anything about it. Um, shortly after our first, our first story ran about it, Mike Quigley, who's one of the commissioners on the Cook County Board, uh, decided to, he introduced a resolution to cut bottled water out of the Cook County budget. I represent about 350,000 people on Chicago's north side, somewhat to the northwest side. Um, I am the sponsor of the Cook County Bottled Water Ban. Um, we passed an ordinance that said that Cook County is no longer going to purchase bottled water. We didn't ban it, we just said that this government, um, one of the largest governments in the United States, is no longer going to purchase bottled water. Uh, one of the reasons was because it's an extraordinary uh, high expense, it's 400000 a year that we were paying for bottled water. Um, I had several other things that bothered me about the way we do things now. First, I go to schools and museums and public buildings, courthouses in this county, and you will see uh, kids who want to drink of water. And the drinking fountain is rusted out or broken or just not there. And next to it is a vending machine, and a parent has to spend a dollar, a dollar fifty, or two dollars to buy a bottle of water. Uh, you shouldn't have to pay money to get a drink of water in a public building. Uh, to me, it's, it's some sort of inalienable, inalienable right that people have to drink healthy, safe water. Um, and bottled water isn't necessarily healthier, it's just uh, far more expensive. We are now exposing an underbelly truth, that is, a big percentage of bottled water in this country is tap water. San Francisco's mayor banned city workers from buying bottled water, citing environmental concerns 
and saving the city half a million dollars a year. And that was approved, and so now Cook County is no longer you know, using county funds to buy bottled water. The city has not taken that step, but the city did start to, start to tax bottled water, a five cent tax uh, on bottled water, which is a, the first of its kind in the country. Um, they've been sued by um, the bottled water uh, manufacturers, by the, by the, by the industry, um, because of it. They say that they can't do that, you know, they can't discriminate basically against bottled water and tax them differently. Um, so that's what the city has done. And then beyond that, I think a lot of individuals are taking it upon themselves to, um, to not purchase bottled water and to use refillable bottles instead. My name is Catherine McKay and I'm with Clean Canteen. It's a stainless steel water bottle. And we made this product um, to safely replace plastic. We made the, the Clean Canteen in specifically in response to polycarbonate plastics, which uh, the number seven plastic, like an algae box, um, because of a certain chemical called BPA. It's uh, bisphenol A, which leaches main ingredient is polycarbonate plastic. So what happens when you ingest that, that chemical, it acts, your body interprets it as an estrogen. So it's an endocrine disrupting chemical and it's associated with a host of problems like attention deficit disorder, um, early onset obesity, diabetes, and uh, different reproductive cancers, fertility issues. It's just, it's a real problem. The, the phthalates that are contained in plastics is an additive that's used to make them malleable. So any plastics you run into, shower curtains, anything that's soft contains phthalates. And phthalates are carcinogens and also hormone disruptors. So your plastic water bottle, when it starts to break down, can leach phthalates. This isn't to say that you're necessarily going to get sick from drinking bottled water. Um, however, Water has been tested. The, the, um, the National Resources Defense Council and then even um, I think the state of Kentucky did studies on bottled water, testing it for all different substances, including phthalates. They were found in the water. So the idea that you're getting something that's more pure or safer uh, than tap water by buying a bottle of water is a really big misconception. In fact, most of the water, uh, up to say, not most, but maybe 40%, is coming from municipal sources anyway. Um, the city of Wichita, Queens, New York, these are sources of bottled water for things like um, Aquafina and Dasani. They take that water, they filter it, and then they sell it back to the public. Don't let that scenic logo fool you. This water is not bottled from a mountain stream. Now PepsiCo plans to spell it out for consumers, adding the words public water source to the label of its Aquafina brand. And in case you didn't know, Aquafina is actually just purified tap water. Coca-Cola's Dasani does the same thing, purifies and bottles public drinking water. One environmental group found at least 25% of bottled water is actually just tap water. Sometimes purified, sometimes not. In other reports, they they're kind of protective of a certain brand because it's been referred to multiple times as a brand with a mountain on the label, you know, et cetera, <laughs> that um, underwent a lawsuit because their water was being extracted from underneath a parking lot in Massachusetts um, and not a mountain stream. In a system that, you know, the system is in place to deliver water to us already, like you say. It falls from the sky. The, the city is kind enough to pump it to our homes, to make sure that it's you know, treated before it reaches us. It's incredibly cheap. Um, it seems just so uh, irrational to go and buy it from a store in a plastic bottle.